Hi guys, and welcome back to day two of our project. Last class, we had a lot of information, and maybe you didn't have enough time to finish everything that we were talking about. If not, that's okay, because day two is going to be a lot shorter of a lesson. I'm going to do a lot less talking, and you're going to have a lot more time to work on your folders. But before we start working, I do want to quickly review the things we talked about, especially the things about color and color contrast. Contrast is opposites. When we have color contrast, we have colors that are very different. We talked about the complementary colors. These colors are very different from each other. They're opposite on the color wheel. So those colors, let's review, are yellow and purple, very far away on the color wheel. They're completely opposite of each other. Another set of complementary colors, blue and orange, opposite from each other on the color wheel. And the last set of complementary colors, green and red. Those are the three sets of complementary colors, and they're complementary because they are completely opposite of each other on the color wheel. Now, just because those are the complementary colors doesn't mean that there's not more options for color contrast. The colors blue and red can also make excellent contrast. Blue is very dark and red is very bright. Different contrast. Blue and yellow would also work. Blue is very dark, yellow is very bright. We have excellent color contrast. And like we said last time, yellow and red would also be an excellent example of contrast. Lots of sports teams like to use these colors because when placed together, those colors will stand out and be easy to see. There's even more options. I could use a dark purple and a bright green, and I would have excellent contrast. I could use green and orange. Dark green, bright orange, excellent contrast. I could use orange and purple. Dark purple, bright orange, excellent contrast. So colors that are far away from each other on the color wheel usually create excellent contrast. Let's get rid of this. Because now I want to talk about colors that we might want to stay away from during this project. These are colors that do not have contrast. They're almost the same thing. Yellow and orange, it almost looks the same. If I was to color in my letters with yellow, my letters, and I was then to use orange for my background, those don't stand out enough. They're almost the same. If I was very far away, it would be hard to read these letters. And I'll even color in my insides. Not enough contrast. So we're going to fix this. I'm going to pick two colors that I think would really stand out. I'm going to pick blue now for my letters. I'll leave my background orange. Let's see if this makes it easier to read. I like it better already. Now blue is very dark, and the color black is also very dark. I use black when drawing my letters, so maybe this would work even better. Let me try making the background blue. My letters yellow. I think I like that a lot more. Now I can see the lines in each one of my letters. The inside of the letters is nice and bright, and the background is nice and dark. This has excellent contrast. So today I want you to pick any two colors that you think will make your name easy to read, and I want you to color in your box or bubble letters. And for fun, I'll show you one more thing. This is an option. When I'm doing my name in graffiti bubble box letters like this, 
something sometimes I like to trace around the shapes of my word so I take my pencil and I trace all around the outside of my word when I'm done looks something like this it makes it a little bit more interesting and when coloring it in it makes it a little bit more fun let me show you what I mean so let me think colors for this project I'll switch I'll use a nice bright teal for my letters think of a dark color opposite of teal I guess would be this dark orangey red for my background Ooh. so now I can color in this new shape that I created it makes it a little bit more interesting it makes it a little bit more fun and if I want I can even add some more colors to the background go dark purple Ooh. learning how to use my iPad this year I'm new so I'll get better as the year goes on ah, I like it nice and bright stands out easy to read from far away you be creative you use whatever colors you want but try to make it easy to read from far away. Try to think of colors that have strong contrast. All right, guys, that's it for day two. See what you can get done. Try to bring in your folders next class. We're also gonna post a picture of our folder in our Google Classroom. If you need help posting your pictures, I'm gonna show you a video on how to do that. But if you already know how to post to your assignments, you can go ahead and post to the project whenever you get finished. I'll see you guys next time for our next art class and our next art lesson. Have fun. Take care.